We are in the Milstein Hall of Ocean Life. It's one of our iconic museum halls dedicated to showing people all the amazing life that's in the ocean, from the blue whale to the tiniest plankton. Right outside where we're standing, in the Hall of Biodiversity, there's a model of a giant squid that's been on display here since 1895. So that's old. And uh, also in that same hall, Hall of Biodiversity, there are some amazing glass models, blown glass of microscopic life. And those are from the early decades of the 1900s. Uh, it took one man decades to make more of a thousand of those models for us. I think that models do something that you can't actually do in the natural world, which is you can have an animal hold still for a moment so that you have a different kind of encounter. I think we're really privileged to have a, a staff of expert model makers and painters on staff, our preparators that work here in exhibition. It's really been an unbroken chain of artist naturalists since the middle of the 20th century. The back and forth, the amount of reading and research that people do to make sure the pose is accurate, the way it's swimming, the, the teeth that you can see in its mouth, or how its gills are arranged, everything about those models has to be right. And, and it takes a lot of expertise. Um, so I feel like we're very lucky to have that expertise still in house because once you lose that, it's, it's kind of gone forever. My name is Dean Markosian and I'm a director in exhibition at the American Museum of Natural History. This is the exhibition department model production studio. We are on the fifth floor in the American Museum of Natural History. This is like a, a model that we made recently. This is a Ganges River shark. And um, the way, we, there's different processes for different models. It really depends on how big they are and how complicated they are. But this is fairly typical we, where this was sculpted with foam and clay to get the, all the details exactly how we wanted them. And then we um, made a mold of that and then we made a cast from that mold. So this is, this is actually a hollow you know, um, model that's um, it's fairly lightweight, very strong, and has you know, all the detail that we wanted to capture from the original clay uh, sculpt. But a lot of the techniques that were being used 100 years ago, we're still doing. But we also have mixed in newer technologies. We do a digital scanning of objects. On one of the models for this exhibition, we've actually got digital scans from a university in Florida and had them 3D printed for us of a bunch of teeth for a shark model. So um, there's, you know, we, we try to use newer technologies when they're appropriate and. Of course, you know, the, the old tried and true technologies, we still get to use those as well. This is Jake Adams. Jake is the artist who sculpted this model. This is a frilled shark. Um, it's a beautiful model. He's got, he's got little teeth in his hand. He's still doing lots of detail work. The, the teeth are added after, after the, the cast was done. Okay, let's see, in here, here we have a model of a sand tiger shark. Gennaro is spotting this shark. But he's putting some subtle spots on there. They're not, they're not very uh, you know, strongly contrasted with the, the rest of the skin, but it's, you know, it's a detail that we try to get you know, all those things. For the most part, Airbus is, is the best way to get the effects that we need. And it's a little bit noisy back here. So you can see Beck is painting um, with also an airbrush, but a much, a, you know, a larger one, be as accurate as possible. Uh, Beck sculpted this model and is now, you know, doing the finish work on it. So this is really all her work. There are seams here. Here's a seam, here's a seam. There's other seams. This, this comes apart into seven pieces. As we were building it, we designed it where the cuts are so that it will fit 
out of here into our elevator and get over to our gallery. So we know it'll make it, but in some cases it, it, it definitely is pushing the, the limits of how big we can make a, any individual piece.